how to reverse diabetes in this video we are going to be discussing this in layman's terms so not a lot of technical language but I will be going to quite a bit of depth so how to start how to begin the key fat parts of a diabetes reversal plan so stay tuned to learn more about this how to reverse diabetes in this video we are going to break this up into five sections number one what diabetes reversal means number two how powerful and fast it can be number three how do you actually reverse diabetes number four how you would get started on such a plan and number five warnings before you start I am Junior Gupta, the founder of LifeHeal. At LifeHeal, we are always looking at new research coming out around reversing metabolic disease and how we can implement that into your life. At the same time, be warned that I am a guy on YouTube giving you my opinion. Please be responsible for your own health decisions. What does diabetes reversal mean? Diabetes reversal means three main things. Number one, a reduction in medications. Your medication dosages should go down on a proper diabetes reversal plan. Number two, it means an improvement in blood tests. So your HbA1c, your fasting glucose, the key markers of diabetes and associated markers of health like blood pressure. These should all come down on a good plan. And the last thing is that your glucose spikes, the things that harm your body, they should really come down. So your post meal sugar, so post dinner, post breakfast, the glucose spike, if it was going to 250, it needs to be below 180 or less depending on your age, but the spikes need to come down. Quickly, I'm going to say what a diabetes reversal plan does not mean. It is not some kind of a protective shield. So if you go back to doing the things which made you sick the first time, they will make you sick again. It's like you break a leg and you get it fixed. Now if you go jump from that place again, what's going to happen? So we'll teach you how to enjoy your life and be happy with a healthier way. A lot of people don't even know what's causing their diabetes. So you learn all of that and most of our clients stay diabetes free. How powerful is diabetes reversal? For that, I have this really neat little device. This is a sensor. It's a glucose sensor that we put on the back of your arm and it makes skin contact. And it gives us minute by minute data of the sugar in your body. So I'm going to use this data to show you how fast diabetes reversal works, how the body changes. In this graph, what you see is the glucose readings from this sensor. It goes from midnight to midnight and up and down is the amount of glucose. So 180, 200, that's the glucose level and the time again. So what you see here is a patient prior to starting a diabetes reversal plan. This was a food subscription plan. What you see is a patient prior to starting food subscription and the average glucose is very high. This is 48 hours after starting the food subscription and what you see is a totally different human being. The sugars are more under control. The spikes are under control. Things are changing. And as you go from 72 to 96 hours, you've seen that the body has really changed. It's almost unimaginable to see how in under 96 hours, this person's metabolism has improved. Now, the other amazing thing that happened at the same time is at the start, this patient was on five different injections a day, long acting, short acting, whatnot. And at the end of this 96 hours, they are gone to one injection a day. The overall dose is down by 75%. And this is life changing. The good diabetes reversal plans will get you off insulin within one week to five weeks. Oral medications can take some more time, but insulin is the best marker. 
and we see this in a hundred percent of cases. I feel medications are not the solution for diabetes and this is why. Medications only treat symptoms so the root cause of the diabetes is not addressed. You are only treating the high sugar which is the symptom of the disease and medications have a lot of side effects. So as your symptoms get worse and you take higher dosages your side effects get worse. So metformin 500 milligrams I don't see a lot of patients having difficulty with that but by the time they get to 2000 milligrams a lot of people get stomach issues. Medications not only do not treat the root cause but eventually other diseases also come because the root cause kind of affects more and more of your body we see other diseases also coming as age advances. I'm sure you see this as well as age advances, time advances, the more medications are needed and uh, eventually in most cases uh, more diseases happen. I'm going to just quickly discuss the problems with current diabetes management systems. Again my opinion but this is what we have seen in our experience. The connection between diabetes medication and other diseases is not discussed. And what I mean by that is insulin is a good example. Insulin causes hardening of the arteries. If you get hard arteries you will have cardiac disease. But that is rarely discussed when a patient is prescribed insulin. Now as you get more diseases the second big problem that I see is in allopathy doctors often don't discuss with one another. So now let's say you have cardiac disease, you have kidney disease, your kidney doctor says something, your diabetes doctor says something different. And now how do you reconcile the both? Because very often when you go to one doctor and you say, oh Dr. Ji, but my other doctor said I should not be eating rice. This doctor will say, listen Mr. Gupta, you either listen to me or you listen to that doctor. And we find that very often uh, the case. So that is another realistic problem that in current diabetes management systems. It is usually just told that taking enough medication is good if it's your birthday or your wedding anniversary just take a little more. So that is the approach and these are what I see as the problems because it keeps getting worse. How do you reverse diabetes? Again I'm going to break this up into three sections. The design of your diabetes reversal plan, how does it, what does it look like, the hours or expense and how to begin. So plan design, hours or expense and how to begin. In your diabetes reversal plan there are three main pillars. The, these are the foundations. There's going to be the role of food which is the major one. The second one is timing, eating timing, snacking, uh, that is the second one. And the last one is exercise. In food it all involves around your sugars, your desserts, your carbohydrates, what type of carbohydrates are you eating, how much packaged food are you eating, meat, vegetarian, you know what are you going to do. So there's a lot of diet plans or systems out there. There is keto, there is vegan, there is gluten free, then there is vegetarian, eggitarian, pescatarian, paleo. There's a lot of diet regimens out there. You can choose any one of them and if done well by again looking at the sugars, the carbs, uh, the balance of the food, these can deliver results. The second pillar in a diabetes reversal plan is that timing. So intermittent fasting is a very popular thing that is going to improve a lot of things for you. But more importantly we find snacking as a very big habit and timing part that needs to get fixed. Can you control snacking? Are you having the right snacks for that time of day? These are things that also need to get addressed in a diabetes reversal plan otherwise you won't make much progress. By the way I do want to say if you're diabetic intermittent fasting needs to be modified for you and uh, don't just read a book or watch a YouTube video and start. Uh, you should get some help or guidance especially if you're moderately or severely diabetic. The third pillar and it is a pillar is the role of exercise but it's the smallest pillar. 
So whereas we consider food at 90% of the plan, exercise is 5 to 10%. Exercise is not the main pillar of weight loss and disease reversal. Why do I say that? Some of you might find this controversial. Why do I say it? So firstly, exercise cannot restore your organ functioning. If your organ liver, if you have a fatty liver, exercise will not make it lean. The other point is if you want to get from here to here, exercise is like taking the hilly path and food is taking the level path. Food does not require that much effort or sweat and it can deliver much better results. You need to learn and have a healthier relationship with food. But it is definitely the more powerful way as well. A good example I, I have is from this book is that exercise is like Robin and food is like Batman. So Robin can do whatever he wants against the bad guys. But it's only when Batman shows up that the battle is won. So Robin helps, but let's not get confused about who is Batman and who is Robin and food is the Batman. Now I exercise and exercise is extremely important. Uh, you should exercise, do it for muscle strength, do it for your cardio, uh, cardio muscles, use it or lose it as they say, but do it for well-being, not for weight loss and disease reversal. You know, make sure you have your goals, uh, doing the right thing for the right goal. Now that I've explained the main pillars of your plan design, now we jump to the second part on how to reverse diabetes which is the hours or expense. You know, if you want to reverse your diabetes, how much time will it take or money? If you do everything at home, you should think about two to four extra man hours a day. Now, whether you get extra help or you roll up your sleeves and do it yourself, but two to four extra hours a day is what we estimate is that you will need for executing it. If you buy and subscribe to a food subscription, the prices around India right now are 30 to 35,000 rupees a month. And there are some hybrid plans coming where you put in one, one and a half hours extra and you pay 15 to 20,000 rupees a month. In US food subscription, uh, is, it's a frozen food delivery and they cost around $500 a month. In India, the key difference is that it is a fresh meal delivery. And of course, if you're curious, we do have partner kitchens as well, uh, where we do provide food subscriptions, but there are more and more choices in India today at the same time. Now we get to the third part of diabetes reversal, which is how to begin. So I've covered the plan design, I've co covered the hours or expenses, and now how to begin. How to begin, also I'm gonna discuss how to begin at home and how to begin with the subscription. When you begin at home, the first thing you need is a eating plan. What are you going to eat and when are you going to eat it? This is the main component. Remember, food is 90 to 95%. This is the main component. Now, you can get very broad plans. If you like that, you have two rotis, one green sabji, uh, one dal, or you can get very detailed plans. You know, have matar paneer and have this. Italian salad and the, you know, so you can find what you like. There's lots of variety out there. You need to get your ingredients lined up because there might be some new ingredients and you need to get your recipes. You know, you need to be aware with your basic recipes. This is how you start at home. It takes about four weeks to get pretty comfortable at home with something new. By week five to 12, You'll be much, much more comfortable. You'll know if you miss something, how to make it up with something else. 12 onwards, you'll be semi-pro. A lot of the long-term diabetes reversal plans, by 12 months on, you know, you're mostly hands-free. Your, your training wheels are off. Um, medication reduction at home, we see it begins two weeks or later. It varies, uh, but two weeks or more because I think it takes time for the home team also to ramp up, to get into a better gear and get better results. How to begin with a food subscription? You buy your food subscription and food typically shows up one or two days later. In food subscription, we see medications go down in as little as two days. So food subscription, 
we find to be uh, much, much more effective. M very interestingly, our patients on food subscription very quickly report better mood, better energy, uh, feeling light, not feeling lethargic after lunch is a very common one, feeling light, blood pressure improving, sleep improving, and just some good points for me to mention because I find these in the food subscription as feedback and uh, not as much in the uh, do at home. Both places people improve, but in food subscription, it's very interesting that so many people come back with this feedback. So I want to share that for you. Finally, a very big advantage with food subscription is learning portion control. Most of us don't know how much rice we should eat. I have presented at various hospitals to lots of doctors. Most doctors also don't know how much rice they should eat. They have a rough idea, but most of us don't know what it looks like. Like, what does 150 grams of rice look like? Portion control and awareness of portion size is something that clients learn very well on a food subscription, and this is something they can travel with and take wherever they go. Warnings. This is an important part of the section and probably the most important if you are planning to start. In diabetics on insulin and certain types of medications, you need supervision because you don't want to go hypoglycemic. These drugs can cause hypoglycemia and you don't want to risk that. Anybody with a very high HPA1C or who's been diabetic for a long time, you should also get medical supervision because hypoglycemia is lethal. It will kill you know, within minutes or hours. Anybody who is weak or fragile, old age, just had a bypass, has a lot of comorbidities, you also should consider uh, supervision. Do not do this without supervision. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in finding out more about food subscriptions or connecting your kitchen with us, please find that link below in this video. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope this will help you start your diabetes reversal journey. Mm -hmm.